Hi, I'm John with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on how to use rings in Sonic Pi. Uh, rings are a special way that Sonic Pi has built in to group different notes together or to group numbers together, I guess, uh, and kind of play through them in, in different ways. Uh, let's get into it. So um, I've got Sonic Pi pulled up here, um, and I'm just gonna start by reviewing how to play notes in a loop. So we'll start super simple. Let's do um, a live loop. Give it a name and then we'll just play notes in sequence. It's just a minor arpeggio, uh, these three notes. C, E flat, and G, uh, or 60, 63, and 67, depending on how you're, how you're speaking about your music. Um, we'll just play these in a loop, one after another. Uh, this is pretty easy. Um, that would loop on forever and ever if I let it keep playing. Um, now, there's another way to write this, uh, which is shorter and easier to edit and also gives you some things that you could do with the music that are kind of interesting and fun. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the, we don't want to group these notes together into a pattern. So to do that, we're going to take, uh, well, we're going to create a variable. So let's call that um, group and we'll set that equal to a list. And after the list, we'll put dot ring. So this is an empty ring. There's no values in it right now. Um, and we'll fill the ring with our notes. So each note uh, goes in the ring. It's sep they're separated by commas. And now we've created a ring with, with the name group. Um, let's change that because that's a confusing name. Call it notes. We have a ring of numbers stored inside a variable called notes. And to play those notes, uh, all we have to do is change the number to the notes values that go with them. So this is gonna sound exactly the same. Notes zero refers to the first number in the ring, 60. Notes one refers to 63, and notes two refers to 67. So this music is gonna sound exactly the same as the thing I had before. No, nothing has changed. Pretty solid. Um, and you might be wondering to yourself, why, <laughs> why is this, um, why is this a thing? Why are we doing it this way? This seems more complicated than it did before. And you're correct about that. Um, the reason we're doing it this way is because uh, when you put things into a ring, it gives you some cool things to do with that uh, information. Um, I'm going to show you the first cool thing. You see how we have a pattern here? We're zero, one, two. Um, that that's not super great. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. But um, but Sonic Pi has a cool way of doing this um, because it plays in a pattern. We can just do notes dot tick. And in Sonic Pi, what this means is we're gonna play the notes in order. And then when it gets to the end, it'll loop back around. So now instead of playing the notes one at a time in the same order, uh, in, in the, with, a, with their own line of code, now we're just changing what part of the ring the code is looking at. And we can do this all in one line of code, which is pretty cool. Because now if I want to make it go faster, I can do that really easily just by changing the sleep interval. Sweet. Let's let's throw uh, some drums under this. So it's a little bit easier to talk to talk about. <laughs> um, oh, it's getting annoying. Do we'll do a sample. That one. 
and let's change the BPM to one. Okay, let's try that now. That's not super great. <laughs> let's try, uh, try that. things if we do triplets oh no it didn't work uh, it didn't let me do uh, sleep like that it doesn't let you do fractions bummer that's okay uh, let's just do 0.25 So that, that, that's the basics of rings. It lets you group notes together, play them in order or in a loop using tick. It's just a smaller way of doing stuff. I'm gonna just gonna change this a little bit. Let's uh, add that, uh, that. All right, now um, you can also do some interesting things with rings uh, by, kind of, by adding these things called modifiers or I guess chains, ring chains. I don't remember what the what the tutorial calls it. Um, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna pull that up right now. Let's go Sonic Pi. Uh, oh, I have a random web page open. Let's go to that. All right, ring chains in the manual. Um, there's a bunch of like different things you can do to the ring, um, which is pretty cool. So let's add some let's add some uh, stuff to the ring. Uh, we'll go seventy. Um. We'll do, let's do a lower note. Let's do um, 53 uh, and 48. Great. So this is going to be a little bit different now. You know, good notes. Um, but the cool thing is if you uh, add these uh, chains to them, you can do some cool things. Let's reassign notes and notes will be, uh, let's do shuffle. We'll shuffle, we're gonna shuffle them into a new order. Nice. Let's do mirror. It's gonna go up. Let's sort it from high to low and then mirror it. original ring isn't in order we sorted the ring and then we mirrored it so it creates this uh triangle shape uh lots, lots of cool stuff um let's let's stretch it i like i like i like the stretch uh we're gonna stretch after sort we'll stretch by three. Oh, didn't like that oh because i misspelled stretch there we go our code isn't really changing much we're just kind of play the notes from the ring uh, every 0.5 uh, units of time but we can do some interesting interesting things by changing the ring ahead uh, ahead of this live loop kind of using these uh, these notes in an interesting way take things away add things in make your pattern evolve over time very, very cool stuff. So that is how you do rings. Uh, and rings are going to be really important for your uh, for when you're using data in your Sonic Pi project. So uh, definitely experiment with this. Check out the manual with all those different ring chains. Try them out for yourself. Uh, and if you have any questions, if you run into any issues, don't be afraid to search for it in the manual and uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, we'd love to hear how you're doing uh that i i think it's uh it's up to you to experiment a little bit
Good luck and happy coding.